How do I direct the film if I can't even go to the to the film bar? What would that even look like? You know, it was much easier for me when I was, you know, it was much easier for me to send money every month and just send stuff. <laughs> what they call like buy-in boxes. They're like what you send mixes. It was easier for me to deal with my family in the Philippines like that, so I don't have to think about it. You, you saw my sister. When I left, she was a year and a half old. She's 22. You know? Uh, so then my friend was right. I mean, so when the footage came back from the Philippines, and then I was like, you know, real depression, <laughs> um, then decided that it had to go down this route, and then we started filming my grandmother, and like, then it started to become more personal. So that's what happened. Um, and in some ways, you know, now that I've gone through, the, as, a, as a writer, I can, I can create whatever reality I want to create. I can manipulate language in whatever way I can. As a filmmaker, film is very literal. You put a camera in front of somebody, you know, it's either it's real or it's not, especially in documentaries. I'm a big fan of Frederick Wiseman, the documentary of Frederick Wiseman. Um, and so once you put the camera on somebody, evidence. So I think they're two very different things. Um, and I don't know which one's better, but I know for this one, for me, I mean, this was, it was really hard. But, you know, I think that's what art's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be just, so. I think film is not just literal, it's also collaborative. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, those scenes in which, the, the scenes with your mother in the Philippines, you weren't there to direct it. Yeah. You couldn't ask the questions, you couldn't stage it. I, I don't, some of those scenes, I thought she was kind of, Oh, she, she was, she wanted to tell you something. And can you imagine, like, editing it? You know, I mean, I was telling Brian, I was so fortunate. Uh, my editor was going to Lena Gordon. And she was basically like, because we had a big editing table. So half the time, I would be under the table, <laughs> crying about what we were editing. And then she'd like, come back up. We need to work. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, what is that? Like, what do you want to do? You know? Um, so, I, this is really a collaborative, I mean, really, I mean, writing is a very solitary thing. <laughs> Filmmaking is definitely a collaborative medium. Um, and you're at the mercy of your, your cinematographer, your editor, your producer, and especially with something like this that's so personal, you know, I'm, I'm cognizant enough of the fact that I didn't want to make a self-congratulatory, oh my God, isn't he so courageous kind of movie? You know, instead I wanted to like, how do I really, how do you show vulnerability and have integrity, you know? Um, and then I was really worried about my mom because, and at one point I actually stopped, I started, for, by the way, after I edited, I had to see a therapist, so I saw a therapist. <laughs> and then I had to really refer to my mom as a character and stop talking about, talking about her like she's my mom. And, I just didn't want her, I was so worried that she wasn't gonna have integrity, you know, or not like, like, like dignity, you know, I didn't want it to be like a sob story. It's kind of like showing me a bunch of like, you know, malnourished kids, of course I'm gonna cry, you know, of course, what do you want me to do? And I see this mother, I wanted her to be two dimensional, you know? And how do I do that, right? And that's what my editor was doing. Really, really helpful. Would you have reached out to your mom on Skype? 